a very exciting season 47 of SNL. Uh, three new cast members, and 10 new writers. 100. 100 new writers. 100, three, 100 <laughs> new writers. I think it's part of Biden's infrastructure plan. Oh, we don't, that's right. I, think we I saw to, that. Yeah. It's like, we got to get more writers in there. <laughs> and the nice thing, I think, is that luck, luckily we never uh, win a, an Emmy for writing because it, but the statues would bankrupt the Academy. <laughs> If they ever had to give statues to give it 100. <laughs> it, would, it would end the academy, so that's nice. Uh, this is, um, I was there when you started. It's uh, crazy to me now that, I mean, I was only there four years before you started. Wow. Um, but you were a kid when you showed up, and this is your ID you still use. This is my current ID, yeah, this that I have. Current ID, and uh, they, current do ID. they believe it's you? Yeah, because it still scans, like the security guards, it scans, and that's what comes up. And they look at me, and they're just like, Whatever. <laughs> At this point, just come, just come in, whoever. It's truly like if you had posted a photo, like you were kidnapped and there was a wanted photo out there, yeah. and then they were like, let's just use it for his ID, <laughs> right. for, for his job for 20 years. Once let's we, just keep that. Hey, we found him. Yeah. We rescued him from the kidnappers. Let's use it as let's his ID let him, Let's let him never quite forget. Uh, I, people used to always ask me this question. Were there summer stories you were bummed not to be able to write sketches about or tell jokes about? Yes, there were some. There were there, was, there were stories. There was uh, the Cleveland Indians. Did you see the Cleveland? Yeah. They changed their name. I don't know if you saw. Do you follow new stuff? Yeah. <laughs> the, the Cleveland Indians changed. And there was a whole, what I liked is there was a whole like uh, press conference where the guy came yeah. out and he was like, you know, we're not the Cleveland Indians anymore. We're going to be the Cleveland Guardians yeah. instead. And I thought it would have been just really great if he had come out and been like, we're going with Redskins. <laughs> We did some research <laughs> and we discovered it actually recently became available. <laughs> and we like we're gonna do Redskins. <laughs> and I also really like there was a story about um, that they caught a, a Catholic priest on Grinder, mm -hmm. which I know you're like and, um, but <laughs> uh, I there was a whole like uh, outrage about that this was happening. And my thought was, isn't that the best case scenario? <laughs> like truly, isn't that? what we've all kind of wanted for years to happen. <laughs> for centuries, there's then this issue where repressed gay men didn't know who they could open up to, and now there's an app on their phone that connects them to every single gay man around them. Right. Like Professor X putting on a helmet and being able to see all the mutants it's in the world. It's a cerebro, right. You know, I don't yeah. know that he was having sex with all of them, but I, I you think know, he it, definitely wasn't. It, it yeah. could be why he's in the wheelchair. <laughs> we don't know. But I think what, that- He has Peronis? <laughs> Professor X is for... <laughs> you went so hard again. <laughs> anyway, my point is like this, I feel like kids out there should probably be pooling their lunch money together to try to buy priests premium access to Grindr. All right, well that's really... And that's my other commercial that we're gonna throw in. <laughs> hey, um, you were... Uh, and you do edits and stuff, right? No, no, no. <laughs> um, whenever we have people from live TV shows, we do no Oh, edits. wow, yeah. that's great. Um, you were... Uh, on Jeopardy. You weren't on Jeopardy. No, I was not. But you're, you're, uh, <laughs> let's just take this a look. Would, that would almost make more sense, by the way, if yeah. I was a contestant than this. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. Recent books for 800. A head writer of Saturday Night Live. He titled his memoir, A Very Punchable Face. Kelly. Was Conan O'Brien? That's incorrect. Looking for Colin Jost. All right. <laughs> I think that's a real burn on Conan, because someone was oh, like, I want to punch him. He was locked and loaded with it. Like, <laughs> punch, punchable face, Conan, go. Now, how, is that something where you, somebody tells you about it? Like, how do you uh, find out it happened? Yes, I found out it happened because my mom uh, sent me the clip, mm -hmm. and she said, I would have gotten it. <laughs> Thanks. She's Thanks, like, I don't get great. Cosmo, <laughs> but I would have gotten that. And yes, yeah, so it's a very, because when you make, when you're a clue on Jeopardy, you feel yeah. like you've made it. Yes. You know, but then in that same moment, you realize, oh, oh I've not. Well, uh, I think it's interesting it. to know how close, I mean, really what you want is to be like a hundred dollar first round clue. You know, you were 800, you know yeah. what I mean? Like that was, there was some value to getting Yeah, that, that I guess right. you do have to work your way up uh, to the, to a lo the You want to be in the Monday New York Times crossword. Like yeah, that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm, ba I'm barely Saturday right now. <laughs> barely. But let's, uh, thank God it didn't happen again. Yeah, no, that would be. Let's try Harvard for a thousand. Alex? Writers and performers who've gone from the lampoon to Saturday Night Live include this young fellow who co hosts Weekend Update with Michael Che. 
and his name is Colin Jost. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, they somehow found a photo worse than the one on my ID. Yeah. Then the other thing is, he, Alex Trebek went to Harvard to a location, filmed a clue. Yeah. Like, you're going to like this one. Yeah. We're going to use silence. a picture. We're going to talk about who he works with. They yeah. really put Every that one on Every context yeah. you could possibly give me, just people. Nothing. And then you could tell when he had to t reveal the name, he just was like, why did I do this? <laughs> That's really also Why a double do burn on Conan, who also went to Harvard. Nobody even guessed him on Not that one. Guessed. They only they only guessed him on the punchable yeah. things. <laughs> We'd hit him, but I don't know if he could go to Harvard. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. You won an award. You won an uh, Audi? Yeah. Were you okay. going to say Audi? Uh, I think maybe my... Did I just win an Audi? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won an Audi, yes, which is very exciting. I, I, I'm very conditioned to not win... Uh, any award ever, so it was very. Uh, I was very flattered and very surprised uh, for best audiobook for my uh, book, which was which was cool. Uh, which was very punchable face. And so yes. you recorded your own book, yes. And you got an award. That is a, a genuinely a cool thing. It's, it was so cool. I didn't even know. Uh, I didn't even know you could. It was it was really cool. And David Sedaris uh, announced it, who was a, a hero of mine as a writer. And um, then when I, you know, when you go and you're recording an audiobook, the other part of it is you. You're hearing what you you're reading out loud what you already wrote and is locked in. Yeah. And then as you're reading it out loud, you're like, oh, I would have made some changes. <laughs> uh, oh, this whole paragraph could have been a cut. And I'll be like, can I can I like punch this up a little bit? And the guy's like, sure, I don't care. <laughs> you can like, say whatever you want what? here. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were just reading it, man. Do whatever. I'm not even checking that it's the same book. <laughs> Uh, go to Stephen that. King's It for a while. Uh, congrats on that. Congrats on another season of SNL. Well, how many is this for you? Uh, I guess uh, we could do math. Know. 16, oh 17? God, dude, I don't know. Um, SNL returns to its 47th season. 47, this Saturday. Which sounds like a joke. It yeah, really does. <laughs> but it's season 47. 47, a season with 47 new writers. This Saturday at 11.30 <laughs> p.m. Here on NBC with Owen Wilson and musical guest Casey Musgraves. <laughs>